So what is the best way to hold investment real estate in Florida as an investor? Should you use an LLC or should you use land trust? There's a lot of debate going on about these two vehicles. Most people know about limited liability companies, LLCs, and uh, some know about land trust. Land trust is a unique form of trust specifically for real estate, for real property and mortgages. So what is the difference between the two of them? In the past, land trusts had one big benefit that was touted, so to speak, and that is that you can change ownership by signing the beneficial interest in the land trust to another person. And that beneficial ownership interest is not considered real property. It is just personal property. And so in the past, the argument was it does not trigger any document stamps that are due on the um, on the transfer. And uh, the same would, in essence, also have been true with respect to selling an LLC. So if you have an LLC that owns one property and you just sold that LLC as opposed to selling the property itself, that no document stamps would be due. But the Florida legislature made some changes to the law. And so now you will still have to pay doc stamps on the value of that transfer, even if you don't transfer the real estate itself. So that eliminates that benefit. So what is the better entity to use, an LLC or land trust? And a couple of considerations to keep in mind. An LLC in the state of Florida, and there are some states that will have more privacy protection, but in the state of Florida, if you set up an LLC, the owner slash manager or member of that LLC is public record. So you have no privacy. If Joe Investor sets up an LLC on Sunbiz and then uses that LLC to purchase a property and uh, somebody looks at that property and sees that, okay, ABC LLC owns that property, they go to sunbiz.org and look up ABC LLC and they know that Joe Investor is the person that owns that LLC. So there's no privacy uh, consideration here. With a land trust, on the other hand, um, the owner, quote unquote, of the trust is never public record. So if you had, you know, Joe Smo um, Esquire as an attorney acting as a trustee for a land trust, or if you had a trust company, I actually own a trust company, LPS Trustee and Management Services, um, at, as a trustee for a land trust, then the owner of that property would be the trustee as trustee for that trust. And that is what's in the public record. And the person that set up the land trust, the person that owns that land trust is never on any public record. So you have absolute privacy. Now, the only way that works is if you purchase the property directly into the trust. So if you buy the property yourself and then just deed it into the trust, of course, there now is the chain and you're no longer um, off the record, so to speak. But if you're having a cash transaction and you purchase it directly into the trust, you have a privacy provision that cannot be matched. Um, the limitation on a land trust is that you can only hold real estate related assets. What do we mean by that? A land trust can, in essence, own realty prop real property, meaning a piece of real estate, or a land trust can also own a mortgage, but a land trust cannot own a car, cannot own furniture, cannot own other businesses. So a land trust is very specific for a property. And uh, the fee structure is fairly similar to set up an LLC versus setting up a land trust. You have to pay annual fees on the LLC. Um, you're going to have a trustee for the land trust that's probably going to charge $100, $150 a year in trust fees. So the fees are very, very similar. But with a land trust, it is a single purpose vehicle for a piece of property. And an LLC, of course, can do many things. An LLC can own real estate, it can own you know, vehicles, it can own computers, it can do business, it can make money. Uh, it can engage in other businesses, it can own other businesses. So you have a lot more flexibility with an LLC than you would have with a land trust. So the magic formula that sophisticated investors use is a layering where you have an LLC that owns or is the beneficiary of a land trust. So for example, if I were to own 20 properties, 
I would not set up 20 LLCs for each property, but what I would do is I would have an investment uh, company, an investment LLC that is the owner of 20 land trusts. And I would have a separate land trust for each property and the beneficiary or owner of that land trust would be that LLC. And so that LLC is completely off the public record um, and uh, you can decide whether or not you want to use of the LLC as a landlord or if you want to uh, set up a separate property management company or hire a, property, hire a property management company to be the landlord with respect to rental properties, for example. So you can layer uh, the two. The privacy is the key benefit of a land trust that you don't get with an LLC typically. Also, when it comes to quote unquote, transferring ownership in a property without going on public record with a land trust, you can go ahead and transfer, sell the beneficial interest to another person. And uh, since the land trust can only own property and it's very limited, there's no extenuating external liability that might be a concern of a purchaser. So you're going to find investors all the time or even celebrities that use land trusts to transfer property. For example, one thing that is quite popular uh, with people that want to remain anonymous is that they go to the seller of the property and say, the seller will agree to put this property into a land trust at closing and then transfer the beneficial of interest in that trust to the new buyer. And that way the new buyer is never ever on public record whatsoever. And, uh, and so you can transfer ownership very easily. With an LLC, it's not quite that simple. Um, number one, if you transfer, quote unquote, ownership of that LLC to another party, in most states, there's going to be a public record because the members and managers of that LLC are on public record, number one. But number two, uh, you're not going to have a good time finding someone that is willing to just buy the LLC that owns the property because the concern for me as an investor would be that that LLC might have other debts, it might have other obligations that I'm not aware of. And so if I buy that LLC as opposed to buying the property, uh, then I would inherit those liabilities and that would become a risk factor that I would not be willing to accept. And as an aside, if anyone were to approach you as an investor and suggest, why don't you buy this LLC um, ownership as opposed to buying the property to keep that transaction off the public record, I would suggest to use a land trust as a layer in between. I'll say, you know what? I'll be willing to work a deal with you, but here's what we want to do. I want you to transfer the property into a land trust and the LLC will be the person setting up the land trust and the person that owns the land trust, the beneficiary of the land trust. And then as part of closing, you transfer the beneficial interest in the trust from the LLC to the new entity, whoever's going to be the new owner. And that way you don't assume any of the liabilities that might be inherent within the LLC. I know this is a very, very technical and somewhat sophisticated subject, and this is really intended for in, you know, investors, if you're a real estate investor or agents that are working with real estate investors. I think it's very, very important that you do two things. Number one, you have an attorney that you partner with that really knows their stuff when it comes to real estate deal structure and working with sophisticated real estate investors. And if you need a referral, please direct message me. And number two, you want to be familiar with the concepts of land trusts and liability, limited liability companies. And always recognize that as a real estate professional, you are not an attorney. You cannot give legal advice. And I'm not giving legal advice here. I'm just sharing with you my own personal experiences and my thoughts on the matter. But you want to have a broad understanding so when you talk to a potential investor, when you talk to a seller or buyer, and when you talk to uh, an attorney and a CPA, you actually know the lingo and you know how these structures work in concept. I'm going to do some trainings in the coming months specifically targeted at real estate investors and really deep diving in these issues of trusts and LLCs and other entities uh, for real estate investing. In the meantime, if you have any questions at all, please post them as a comment. I read all my comments and I will reply to them or just direct message me 
and I'll be happy to get back to you. I'll be happy to put you in touch with people that can help you. I hope you found this helpful. As always, my name is Thomas Hyman with Realty Partners. Have a fantastic day.